Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today, we're gonna talk about this puzzle here, and it is called Bird in a Cage. To be honest, to me, it rather looks like Bird in a Nest, but nevertheless, it's a disassembly reassembly puzzle made completely from beech wood. I do not have any more details about how it was created. Nevertheless, it's somehow cool because I do not have a similar puzzle in my collection. It's made from interlocking pieces that need to be disassembled, which is quite easy. I will just show you in a minute. And the task is not only to free this bird, because this bird can be freed quite easy. I'm not sure if it's a bird. To me, it rather looks like a egg or egg, <laughs> egg with a beak. beak. And um, this one can be also um, put back in place quite easy. But the task is not, as I said, to take out the bird. The task is to disassemble these pieces and put them back together. Okay. And overall we have four pieces here that build the housing and three pieces, or let's say the, the, the given this main structure and three pieces that need to be placed somewhere inside. And then this little birdie here making it eight pieces overall. Interest for me it's interesting because um, these look not, these do not look like um, standard interlocking puzzles, therefore also I had some troubles to assemble it. Took me maybe around 10 minutes, which is quite long, longer than I expected here for this kind of puzzle. And I liked it because it was different from the puzzles, or let's say similar puzzles that I know. And therefore I give it a difficulty rating only of 2 out of a maximum of 5. Nevertheless, it's a cool puzzle and after the spoiler break, I'm going to show you how I disassemble it, uh, how I reassemble it because this assembly was quite fast as you just saw. Hmm. So this is what it's about, a beaked egg and now we're gonna take care here of the assembly. What's pretty cool or what you need to remember is that these three dark pieces give you a hint um, on how the parts are put together and also you can see that there is a small like a chamfer here on the bottom of each piece except this one which is obviously the bottom piece because it's flat and I started in the beginning to put the parts together but then when you when you have to put in the last one it's pretty difficult to do and when you shift the parts apart a bit to get in the last one they fall apart so I built me a workaround which works pretty good and reliable and you will not struggle with putting these parts together so at first what you need to understand is this that this uh, curved shape here of the dark pieces is the top side okay so i will arrange now these three pieces here with the curved upper side like so which is already pretty easy and i will pretty soon have here um, at least from the top the same condition as I had um, in the beginning, okay, which looks more or less Well, okay, I said it's pretty easy <laughs> Okay, it looks more or less like so yeah And then I turn these parts around and place them upside down here on my desk and Now I insert these pieces that need to go to the inside and as usual if you see the solution it looks obvious and uh, pretty easy, but um, to find this solution is more challenging. Even if it's not super difficult, you will not uh, be able to see it right from the beginning. So then I'm back in this condition. And now since it's upside down, I do, I do not need to manage and hold it in my hand. I will be able to pull slightly on these pieces and the parts will separate, slide to the outside. And this enables me here to place the last piece inside of the other parts and as soon as it is and all three edges here aligned on top of these uh, straight surfaces I can just push the parts together by pushing here the bottom piece from the top okay so all parts are assembled reassembled and now it's time to place also our little beak egg here from the top inside and the puzzle the puzzle is back in initial condition so it's not the most difficult one but somehow it's cool and somehow it's also a eye catcher here the design is quite good 
and I'm sure if you give this to someone, he will, it's, you know, it's one of these puzzles you give to someone, he will fiddle around a bit, and um, if he solved it after maybe five or ten minutes, he's very happy, and then you give him a really hard one, and watch, uh, and have some fun struggling him, as to see him struggle with this kind of puzzle, okay? So, until next time, um, if you like this episode, just leave a like, comment below, check out my Facebook, Facebook and Instagram channel and also, of course, hit the bell if you would like to stay informed about further episodes. Until next time, keep on puzzling.